what's going on everyone it is behavior here and i want to thank you for tuning in to another episode of just my opinion on this episode it is another box office video that we're going to be discussing all the box office results for the past weekend what was released this past weekend the weekend before top five top ten worldwide domestic of course we're going to talk about black panther and all of that good stuff so let's just dive right in because I'm very excited. Coming in at number one. Look at me, I'm so excited. I'm throwing my mouse. Coming in at number one is A Quiet Place. A movie, a trailer that I saw a long time ago. Forgot about it. Uh, snuck up on me. I was like, no, you got to stay on top of it. Saw this past Thursday. Freaking love the film. It is a horror suspense thriller uh, directed by John Krasinski. Uh, who also starred in the film. Um, you can go check out my, my review after you subscribe if you like that with Emily Blunt. It did fantastic. The budget for this film was only $17 million. And in the United States, it already made $50 million. $50,203,562. That's freaking fantastic. Uh, worldwide, it is at $71 million. So that's freaking fa that's That's just amazing. It already made its budget back. You know what I always talk about? It has to make three times the budget. 17 times three. What is that? Uh, 51, 52, something like that, I think. What's that? Wait, 45, 47, 49, 51. Is that, is that right? I can't believe I don't know. Yeah, 51. Anyway. <laughs> Yeah, uh, so it made it's twenty million dollars already above uh, the three times the budget, so that is very profitable. Also, just a fun note about John Krasinski. Um, well, you know, I'm a big Marvel fan. Marvel Studios, Kevin Feige, they have really been trying to get Emily Blunt into the fold at the MCU, especially to play uh, Captain Marvel. Uh, but that's being played by Brie Larson. Uh, I can't believe I almost forgot that. But now. People are just whispering like, hey, you know, I think John Krasinski said that he wanted to do play Mr. Fantastic. You know, here's the Fantastic Four. Emily Blunt can be the Invisible Woman. You know, they're married in the comics. These two actors are married in real life. That would just be great. You know, I, I think that's great casting, great acting. We finally get Emily Blunt over into the MCU. What do you guys think of that? But that's just amazing, guys. Uh, it's a great movie. Please go see it. Um, because it is worth your time. Coming in at number two, Ready Player One at $24 million. It only dropped 41%. Uh, right now, it is still in about 4,200 theaters, which is very, very good. Uh, I was worried about this film because it I don't, it didn't do that well opening weekend, only opening to about $41 million. Uh, now, 24 the second weekend. Did I just misquote that again? Yeah, $24 million. <clears throat> excuse me, the second weekend. Globally, it is kicking butt. And I forgot to pull up another website because, well, guys, what I usually do is get all my information from Box Office Mojo, but even for years, I've been knowing that they, I, don't know, I guess they're kind of slow with their stuff. But I'm, I'm pretty sure, uh, there's this one subscriber, I know he's heard of this website, The Numbers. It's a website I've always heard of, but I just never used it. But I am trying to get uh, familiar with it. Or whatever because it provides a lot of information so if i if i'm at the numbers.com right now and i go to the international box office let's see here international uh china it is it is our it's done 162 million dollars in china right now that's freaking crazy that's much more than the u.s uh right now uh so yeah, China, you know, they don't ever play around with the box office. As we all know, they're the second largest of, of all time. Oh, and just real quick, uh, back to A Quiet Place. Other movies that um, I'm comparing it to is Split and The Conjuring. Uh, the budget for A Quiet Place was $17 million. Split was $9 million. That's very good. You know, cheaper the better. And The Conjuring was 20 You know, all kind of right there in the same the split in the country ended up making about a hundred and 137 138 million dollars so that's kind of where you can expect the quiet place to uh come to and um you know the Qu quiet place may do better than that who because uh, i think well no because split and the conjuring were was received pretty well by critics and fans um i can't i don't know as much as quiet place because it seems like everybody's universally loving the quiet place uh, because Split opened up with $40 million and The Conjuring opened up with $41 million and Quiet Place $50 million. Um, 
quiet place that blew everybody's expectations. They was kind of thinking that it's going to be around the 20 to 30 million dollar range. So maybe the quiet place can end up reaching about 150 million dollars domestically. And if it does that, I mean, that's just, you know, freaking amazing. Um, but anyway, enough for the quiet place. Ready Player One. Um, right now if you want to compare that to gi joe retaliation in this 11th day and release it's in 96 million gi joe was in uh, 86 million uh so that's good let me actually let me dive into that just a little bit more um uh, terminator salvation too i don't really care about that um but let me go back here let me do i have do i have this pulled up already Okay, so anyway, the R-rated comedy by Universal uh, came in at $20 million. You can check out my review for Ready Player One and uh, Blockers as well with John Cena. thought it was fairly, uh, did fairly well. This is, um, well, this is, yeah, it was, oh, yeah, this is his first weekend of release. I'm tripping. Um, the budget was $21 million. Um, it did $20 million, uh, and, you know, so far in this opening. Ten ten million dollars uh worldwide right now. So the um I mean international. So right now the total is thirty one million dollars. Is there anything I can compare it to? No, I'm not going to. Um, but Blockers came in at number three. Number four is Black Panther, baby. Yes, bringing in another eight million dollars. So right now it is at six hundred and sixty five million dollars domestically. One point three billion dollars worldwide. Woo, woo, woo. Yes, 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 yes. Black Panther is not playing around. Um, it's so funny because I'm so happy it's doing good, but you know, we got the haters out there that are really just butt hurt crying, like, oh my god, the black people are beating us. Like, seriously. There are just some people that are just so butt hurt right now that Black Panther is just doing so well. Like, there's this YouTuber I know. I don't listen to, I probably listen to maybe one video of hers a month. And she provides good information. It's just I'm subscribed to so many people. She was reading this article about some white supremacist that was just whining online, just mad and couldn't understand how well Black Panther is doing. But hey, bro, go kick rocks and screw yourself. Uh, Black Panther is doing freaking fantastic. Um, but before I dive more into Black Panther, let me just finish... Um, the top five or top ten. Coming in at number five is Tyler Perry's Acrimony, that horrible trash um, garbage film. You know, and I, I was also talking about that movie. I did a spoiler review. I left something out that I wanted to complain about still. I was just so frustrated, too, because Tyler Perry was bringing up, like, all of those words in the film, like, words with definitions. And I'm just like, bro, like, are we going to have a vocabulary test at the end of this movie? You know, like, uh, I mean, uh, if we get 100, we're going to get our money back. You know, like, that was just something that's frustrated me. But, you know, and, uh, let me not get started again. Right now, it's at $32 million uh, worldwide. There's not going to be any release for that foreign. A budget for this was $20 million. So, uh, will it make $60 million to get three times? Maybe. We'll, we'll, we'll see. Uh, we will see. What was the drop for that 51 percent so you know that's it's not bad and it's not good either i can only imagine comes in the number six or seven million chapa quitted comes in at 5.7 million and number seven sherlock knows which i did not see i didn't see the last three films i do plan on still seeing i can only imagine sherlock knows came in at 5.4 million pacific rim uprising disappointing universal 4.8 million and number 10 by wes anderson the r2 director out of dogs i saw grand Budapest hotel I talked to Malcolm uh, the other day. I'm like, uh, hey, man, let's go see all the dogs. And he was waiting on me, but uh, it just didn't end up working out. That was my fault. He is coming back. He is coming back. I know I keep saying that, but, you know, he he is coming back. Wrinkle, a Miracle Season is number 11, and A Wrinkle in Time is not even in the top 10 anymore. It is number 12. It brought in, um, what was it, $3.3 .3 million. It is not doing well, guys. Um, gosh. The but the world wide right now said 116 million. The budget was 103 million. So, um, and the production budget. I heard the marketing budget was an additional 125 million. So you're looking at a 228 million dollar film. God, it just really hurts my soul right now. You know, like, you know, Disney is winning so far with Black Panther. They're taking the air with this wrinkle in time, but they're gonna make it back with Avengers Infinity War and the, the solo movie, hopefully. Uh, but anyway, guys, that is your top 10 right there. Uh, 
So there you go. But let's talk about this Black Panther. All right. I thought I had it, I had it pulled up. Another thing pulled up, but I closed it out on accident. All right. <clears throat> Black Panther, baby. Let's get into this. So right now, like I said, $665 million. Now, let's not knock the set down. Will Black Panther re re reach... Excuse me, goodness gracious. Will Black Panther reach $700 million domestically? I think it is a, a, a slim chance that they could do that. Um, next week we have, uh, or not that next week, this week we have, uh, is it I Feel Pretty is coming out? And Rampage? So Rampage is most likely going to be number one. Let me, let me double check. Yeah, so we got Truth of Dare. I'm seeing Truth of Dare on Wednesday. I'm seeing, I'm shooting this Monday night right now. It's late, 11.24 p.m. Central Standard Time. Rampage comes in, uh, Rampage comes out this week too. And then next week, we got, well, is Rampage coming out this week or next week? I say April 20th. I'm, I'm seeing it tomorrow if I if I get in. Super Troopers 2 and then Avengers. And, no, it's coming in this week because, yeah. Wait, let me look at the calendar. I know it's opening. So, okay, it's this week. It was, okay, yeah, they moved it up. It is, it is this week. So, uh, Rampage is going to be number one with uh, The Rock. I'm really looking forward to that because I played the game and I just want like a fun monster, you know, shoot him up, beat him up movie. I mean, make a little sense where you can, but I'm not one much from there. But uh, with Black Panther, uh, I want it to, um, I really do want it to make, uh, seven hundred million dollars worldwide, and I think it really has a shot of doing that. The reason why I think it has a shot because you know I like the showdown. We opening weekend in showdown, like I do each week, comparing the box office numbers between Star Wars: The Force Awakens, Jurassic World, The Avengers, Star Wars: The Last Jedi, and Black Panther. The reason why I am comparing these is because you know these are big blockbusters. These are some of the largest opening films um, in the country of all time. So it only makes sense to compare those numbers. Now, I'm also on the numbers right now trying to. I'm not too familiar with the site. OK, this is what I wanted to um, get to right here. So I, I just wanted to have it ready. Um, so the reason why is if I go to the weekend numbers, so this is Black Panther is in his eighth weekend right now. If you go back and you look at the weekend, starting at number five, the fifth weekend, Black Panther is beating all four of those previous films I just named. Week five, it beat all those films. Like, you know, the next one was the uh, Star Wars The Force Awakens. Their fifth weekend, they had $26 million. Uh, but Black Panther had $26 million too, but beat it. Week six, 17 million beating all of them. Week seven, 11 million beating all of them. Week eight, this past weekend, beating all those previous films, The Force Awakens, The Last Jedi, uh, Avengers, and Jurassic World, $8 million. So next week, the ninth week, we're not there yet. Start The Force Awakens is winning with $6 million. So I'm just going to say that Black Panther is going to get another $6 million there as well. Since it's been winning the past four weekends in a row. Okay. So then the 10th weekend, Black Panther, uh, I mean, The Force Awakens has $3.9 million. So I'm just going to round it up and say four. So now we're at 10. A week 11, 2.9. So I'm just going to say three. So we at 13. And then a week after that, we at 1.8. I'm going to round it up to two. And then after that, another 1 million and then another 1 million. Week 15 and 16, I'm just going to combine those and put another uh, 1 million. Okay, so that's... 10, 3, 15, 16, 17, 18. So, at the very minimum, from week 9 all the way to about week 14. So, that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's nearly, that was in June. Black Panther is going to, I'm just going to say, okay, domestically for the weekends only, Black Panther is going to bring in another $20 million. 
all the those five or six weekends added up. Okay, now that's just the weekends, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. If I look at the weekly comparison, Black Panther has won, that won the sixth week. It won the seventh week. Excuse me. So the Avengers won. The eighth week, we're not there yet. The week, counting all seven days, at 10.8 million, The Force Awakens was a nine. I'm just going to be safe and round it down to nine, okay? Um, next week, The Force Awakens wins nine again, so another nine for the week. Another five week after that, um, uh, The Force Awakens 5.1. Week 11, uh, 3.9. I'm going to round it down, three. Um, and then 2.5, I'm just going to say another... I'm going to say another four. So let's do a little math for oh, that's 18. 23, 26, 30 million dollars. So if you look at the next six weekends, Black Panthers, I think is going to bring another 20 million. If you look at the next uh, one, two, three, four, five, six uh, weekend weeks, I think it's gonna bring in like maybe another thirty to thirty-five. So it needs thirty-five million to hit seven hundred million dollars, guys, and I think it's gonna do that. I really do. It's gonna be close. It's definitely gonna hit six eighty-five, but I just wanted to do that so bad. It's not gonna catch. Uh, it's not gonna catch Avatar. I think Avatar right now is seven hundred and sixty million dollars domestically of all time. It's not gonna catch that. Not even close. But it has a strong chance of making that $700 million mark domestically, and that would just be dope as hell. You know what I'm saying? That would just be dope as hell. Michael B. Jordan and Michael B. Jordan should definitely get paid. Uh, Chadwick Boseman should get a paycheck raise too because I, I talked about it in the previous videos. People are, oh my God, Black Panther's over a billion dollars and Chadwick Boseman and I ain't getting no money. He ain't getting paid. Well, none of his movies before are profitable. He had, Before he was in Marvel, none of his movies made money. None of them. Draft Day didn't make no money. It lost its little money. Express didn't make no money. Uh, what was it? Uh, Marshall didn't make no money. Get On Up didn't make no money. All those movies lost the film, lost the studio's money. And then uh, 42, that did okay. That like broke even. If it didn't break even, it was a small profit. But I don't even think it was profitable. I think it 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 made. Uh, I think it it, it 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 broke even. Let me just look it up real quick because I think before I look it up, I think it grossed worldwide like ninety two or ninety six million, and then the budget was like forty million. But let me uh let me let me make sure. Okay, so yeah, it, it was no form released the uh, ninety five million domestically, forty million dollars. That's not good. Uh, I mean, it's not crap either. You know, forty million dollars. So you should be making at least, bro. Uh, 120 million dollars worldwide because that 95 million, at least third of that goes to the, th the the theater owners. They get a cut of that, an average of a third. So, but anyway, uh, they should be getting paid now. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what matters to me, especially my because Michael B. Jordan is a bigger box office draw. But something else that's really crazy is let's let's get into this. Uh, worldwide. Worldwide right now, Black Panther is at number 10. It is one in the $1.3 billion club. Now, look at this, guys. Number 9 is Star Wars The Last Jedi. Number 8 is Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. The Last Jedi is just one uh, $1.3 billion, $1 billion, $332 million. Harry Potter 2, Deathly Hallows Part 2 is $1 billion, $340 million. Black Panther is only $41 million, $41.5 million for making the number 8 spot. Now, if it makes 30, 30 million, uh, 35 million more, it's going to pass The Last Jedi. So I really do think, guys, that uh, Black Panther is going to be ended up number eight uh, worldwide of all time. That's like dope as hell. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? And now when Avengers Infinity War comes, that's going to knock it back down to number nine. And then, uh, and then uh, to see now the solo movie. They may knock it back out too. We don't know how well that's gonna do, but you know, Star Wars movies do make a billion dollars, so it's gonna be at number nine. And then next year, when Avengers Infinity War Part Two or whatever the hell it's gonna be called, uh, it's gonna knock Black Panther to number ten. But the, but Black Panther could be number ten for a long time because it's gonna pass Star Wars: Last Jedi and Harry Potter Part Two. You know what I'm saying? So that's just super mega hella dope. You know what I'm saying? So 
you know, it's going to be cemented there for at least a good two years, just depending on how well uh, the solo movie does. Uh, also, guys, I, we don't know how much it's going to make now worldwide, because if you've been paying attention, Saudi Arabia just they didn't have a ban on movies for the past 30 years and they just brought movies back the first movie that they're gonna be playing is black panther you know what i'm saying so I, we nobody knows how big that territory is gonna be it could be the number one in the world i doubt it but at the same time i don't know how big saudi arabia is i haven't looked i could have looked it up but i didn't but um I, I mean, we don't know. They could. I don't know the culture in Saudi Arabia. They. I don't know if they don't care about movies. Like, We've been wanting movies for thirty years, and finally, you know, and they just go and see it because they just just so excited. You know, predominantly black cast. We don't know, so it can make fifty million there, hundred million, three hundred million. Who knows? So like, the sky is the limit. On um, how I mean, it could end up passing uh, Avengers at one point five worldwide. But we, this is just new. Nobody knows. I mean, what you going to go back and chart Saudi Arabian movies from 30 plus years ago? Whatever. I mean, do it if you want to. I don't know. So that's just dope. Another thing that's crazy, man, is uh, Black Panther has grossed more domestically uh, than what Justice League did worldwide. Ain't that some crap? I mean, that goes to show the success of Black Panther also simultaneously showing uh, how disappointing and a failure that Justice League was. And I liked Justice League. I just bought it on 4K um, the other day. I was real late. I didn't want to spend no money on it. I had to wait for this gift card to come in the mail, and it came. Uh, but $657 million, guys, worldwide. And Black Panther is it. That's worldwide. Black Panther did that domestically. So, you know, my goodness gracious. But uh, poor Justice League. But anyway, uh, let me go here real quick, like. So domestic of all time, Black Panther is also passed Titanic. Of course, Titanic was a $659 million. Black Panther is now $665. I've, I've said that 17 times. So that's great. Um, also, let's also adjust for inflation. So adjusting for inflation means that uh, Gone with the Wind won at $1.8 billion. What that means, that came out in 1939, meaning that if the tickets... If the movie ticket prices in 1939 were the amount that they are today, Gone with the Wind would have made $1.8 billion. But in just for inflation, Black Panther is at number 34, uh, which is freaking great. It'll adjust more when, um, you know, when the movie's um, theatrical run is over. Right above it is Sleeping Beauty at 33. Uh, which came out in 59, The Jungle Book, the 1967 edition, and The Dark Knight in 2008. It passed it when you don't adjust for inflation, but when you do adjust for inflation, The Dark Knight is still winning. And also, it's Marvel's The Avengers at 7 to 5, but it, it's going to reach that. And, you know, you got The Godfather and, uh, you know, all of that too and up in here. So, um, yeah, guys, um, is there anything else that I want to talk about? Worldwide 1.3 is going to end up being number 8. I'm very confident. It is number three. It passed Titanic. Um, Black Panther right now internationally in China. Yeah, this is much up, more up to date. China said $104 million. The United Kingdom, $67 million. I need to really get familiar with this numbers website because uh, they do dig into a lot of other stuff. I remember I was watching this pundit and I was like, he was breaking down how they be doing the contracts and stuff. I was like, man, this stuff is thrown off. How they just be penny pinching? But you know, it is a business and all that, guys. But, y'all, uh, I really feel like I'm leaving something out. Um, because my videos are you must use longer than this, but I don't want it to be too long. But, guys, um, if I forgot something, let me know in the comment section. Uh, but that is just my opinion for the box office rundown uh, for this past week. Black Panther week number eight. Pastor Titanic and doing great things. What did you think? You know, did I miss anything? Let me know. Uh, how impressed are you with these box office numbers? Let me know down in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. And if you don't, that's fine. But you can still subscribe to my channel. You can also go to my website. Check me out there, bookmarking, and also look me up on social media. Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. It's right there at the bottom of your screen. And I made it very easy by providing a link to all the good stuff down in the description box below. But guys, I just want to thank you again for tuning in to my opinion slash review. Well, not review. My opinion for our box office and Black Panther Week 8. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery. 
and that's just my opinion. Peace.